So you were in Cruise Systems at that time, but it wasn't yeah, called Cruise Systems. Yeah, I was in Cruise Systems. And my my boss and and the rest of the branch were located here, and a few of us were located in Philadelphia. But I was st even though we were detailed to Philadelphia, we we, we were still employees of the Part Naval of Development this. Center. Okay, right. right. Yeah, I was down here from 1970 to 1976. And they hired me to, to be the site engineer of a horizontal accelerator facility. We had a horizontal accelerator in Philadelphia, which was built in the 40s. And it's, uh, it, it's, a, it's a crash simulator mm -hmm. type of device. You've probably seen this on TV where, where they do ads for crash test dummies and you, you see the crash test dummies being subjected to forward crashes. Yeah. That was that, that was the type of work we did. Okay, um, I was responsible for the uh, complete site operations and conducting all the test programs. Uh, we uh, we carried out a, a number of impact studies, uh, not only for the Navy but for the uh, the Army, uh, the Air Force, uh, NASA, DOT, and private contractors. What what types of impact stuff were you testing? Were these ejection seats? Were they no, I mean, like, no, there were there, there were actually we, we there were uh, some tests were done on restraint systems, new okay. restraint systems, um, and um, ejection seats, and also helicopter seats. Okay. Because part of the requirement of, of an ejection seat is that it must must withstand a a forward crash loading, and the same thing with a helicopter seat. It must withstand a certain amount of loads when you load it with a a test dummy, mm -hmm. so that if if, if a uh, if a jet cr say crashed like a low level crash, the the seat wouldn't wouldn't tear off the uh, the rails the, the the bulkhead where the seat is mounted. So and same th same thing with a, a helicopter seat. We we had to make sure that the that the restraint was able to hold uh, the the test dummy in the seat and mm -hmm. nothing broke. Mm -hmm. When you did these tests. Were they always done with test studies, or do you also use human subjects? Okay, I'll, okay, I'll get into that okay. in a minute. Okay, okay, okay. fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these experiments required the use of human volunteers. <laughs> okay, uh, in this role, I was responsible for ensuring the, the successful and safe completion of, uh, of the test programs. Mo most of the testing was done with test dummies. A small portion was done with human volunteers. Um, as site officer, I was responsible for the man rating of the facility. Um, as I said, the Bureau of Medicine had to approve our facility for the use of human subjects before we were allowed to, to begin. And we had, to, we had to carry out the program in, 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 in accordance with the test protocol that they approved. Um, these programs included the buildup of the test mannequins or dummies, data acquisition, instrumentation, high-speed photography. Uh, we did medical and physiology monitoring, site safety, and the fabrication and installation of all the necessary test fixtures. It was a big deal. Yes, big it program. was. Yeah, it really was. Were there other facilities like this in the United States, or was this fairly unique? There were, there, there were other facilities in the country the only facility that I remember that did man, t man t testing was at Holloman Air Force Base. Uh -huh. Now the DAISY decelerator, as compared to our accelerator, th they would send it down the track and they'd have a long probe and that, and that would go inside of a cylinder. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what created uh, the, uh, the, the acceleration. It would come to a fast stop. Mm -hmm. Whereas in our tests, we, we did acceleration where the uh, the subject was was sitting still, and we and we we fired the sled out. It's the same response as as, as going into something, or being fired, and you actually you still go into the restraints. So it, it's the opposite, but the same same effect. Okay. So in addition to all this, I was I was responsible for scheduling, and coordinating all, uh, all the participating activities, and performing electronic and photographic data analysis. Uh, in order to determine if the equipment was acceptable and, and we, whether we had any failure modes and the kinematics of the human and mannequins. What I mean, meant by the kinematics is we always measured uh, the motion of the test dummies and the humans. 